Here on the Texas coast, we are fortunate to have hundreds of species of birds that live here or stop by. Some birds, like the northern cardinal, can be seen here year-round because they nest and winter here. Other birds, like the greater yellow legs, only live here during their non-breeding season and migrate up north to nest. Still other birds, like the Baltimore Oriole, are only seen here during a short window of time in the spring and fall as they are migrating through Texas to get somewhere else. Texas is located in a migration hotspot. Birds traveling from South and Central America up to North America frequently have to pass through Texas to get where they're going. In fact, it's estimated that one out of every three birds migrating in the U.S. has to come through Texas. This means that Texas habitat is important for not only our Texas birds, but also a huge portion of all North American birds. Let's take a look at an example bird, the Magnolia Warbler. This particular Magnolia Warbler is spending the winter in Guatemala in the Cerro San Gil Reserve. But when April rolls around, this bird will feel the urge to fly north to its Canadian winter grounds. Rather than take the land route through Mexico, it is estimated that most Magnolia Warblers opt to fly directly across the Gulf of Mexico. The benefit of flying across the Gulf is that it's faster than flying all the way around to circumvent the water. Many birds complete the Gulf journey in less than 24 hours. The drawback is that this is much more dangerous. The Gulf of Mexico is no small puddle, and there is no food for a warbler to eat along the way, and no place to rest, unless you happen to find some assistance. There are also factors like storms and winds that can slow down birds or take them out of the sky entirely. Needless to say, the journey is exhausting, and many birds are practically falling out of the sky when they finally reach the Texas coast. Unfortunately, what they find here often looks like this, or this. Where there were once forests full of trees, caterpillars, berries, bugs, and peace, now there are human developments full of buildings, parking lots, and non-native plants. What's worse, if the magnolia warbler arrives during the nighttime, it can be met with bright lights that confuse and disorient birds into crashing into buildings. This is why nature preserves are so vital on the Texas coast. One third of America's migrating birds need somewhere to stay, and different birds need different habitats, whether it's our coastal prairie, marshes, woods, bayous, or beaches. Fortunately, our magnolia warbler has lucked out and landed at Quintana Neotropical Bird Sanctuary. Here, the birds can rest, take a bath, and build up enough energy for the rest of their journeys. From Texas, the magnolia warbler heads north through America all the way up to the boreal forests of Canada. It will stay here to nest and rest until it's time to make the whole journey back again in the fall. So while the Texas coast might seem unimportant to a bird that lives in Guatemala and Canada, it is in fact a very important stopover site. For the Magnolia Warbler and hundreds of other species, Texas is a necessary stop on their way north and south. In this way, we are all interconnected. If our Texas habitat is compromised, billions of birds, as well as their ecosystems all across the Americas, will be affected. Here at Gulf Coast Bird Observatory, we protect migratory birds in many ways. Our avian research helps gather information about migratory birds like piping plovers, red knots, ruby-throated hummingbirds, and many more. We have several ongoing research projects, including our Smith Point Hawk Watch, and bird banding, both of which help track bird migrations. By gathering more information, we can better assess the problems that migratory birds are facing and respond to them. GCBO also protects habitats that are widely used by migratory birds. We protect land close to our home by preserving habitat like our Quintana Neotropical Bird Sanctuary, dispersing native plants, and cleaning beaches and waterways. We also protect land that the migratory birds call home. With our land acquisition funds, we are able to give money to land preservation efforts far and wide. 
In Guatemala, we helped expand the Cerro San Gil Reserve by 118 acres to protect the magnolia warbler and many other species. Finally, GCBO helps protect migratory birds by spreading awareness. We educate the public about migratory birds and the dangers that they face. We urge Texans to turn their lights off at night during migration, keep their cats indoors, plant native plants, and give the birds space. Together, we can continue to protect migratory birds and make Texas more hospitable to our feathered friends.